بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس آور لائبلٹیز انالیسز ایز یو نو دیٹ ان آور پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس دا ایسٹ انالیسز اف وی کلک آن ایسٹس اٹ ری ڈائریکٹ ایس ٹو دا پیج آف ایسٹس انالیسز رپورٹ وی ول گو بیک ٹو آور بیلنس شیٹ اینڈ وی ول کریٹ دا سیم ٹیپ فار لائبلٹیز and we will add a new page for liabilities analysis in our liabilities analysis we will discuss the detailed graphical representation for our liabilities and also we will check the debt to equity ratio and the capitalization ratio which is directly connected with the liabilities before we start this lecture kindly subscribe our channel to keep us motivated and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can receive our latest video notifications i would like to show you that the database which i am using to make these reports i have connected the data from google sheets and the format of our data will be column wise as much as variables you can add you can add here I have added some variables so I can illustrate uh, the graphical representation in Google Data Studio. So we have two branches and we have month wise data and so on. If you wanna see that how I have created this data and the formats of the cell, please my, check my earlier videos so you will understand well and how I have connected this data to Google Data Studio, I have explained already in my previous lectures. For today, we will go to our report and we will go to edit mode. The first thing we need to do is we need to add a page here and we will rename it to liabilities analysis page. So we will go to our balance sheet tab and we will click on liabilities. We will link this tab to liabilities analysis page and click on apply. We will change the color of this tab as per the chart. We will go to view and if we click on this, as you can see, this is our balance sheet overview. And if, if our management want to go inside of any variable to see the details, so they can click on it and they will go to that page. So we did not create anything yet here. So let's go and add it. And we will add here a title. We will change the color of the title, bold, and the font size will be 36, I think, enough. Okay. Now, we will create some scorecards. The first scorecard we will create for current liabilities. As you can see here, record count, but we will choose here the metric current liabilities. And we will compare our data with previous year or previous period will be the period of last month and previous year will be the previous year. So we will compare with the previous year and click on apply. We have a comparison here. We will go to style and we will use compact numbers and unchoose the height comparison level so we can see the comparison is for previous year or for previous month. Labels. How you, you can choose any of the color of the labels. I think black is okay. You can even hide metric name and you can choose your own metric name here. We will change the background color to be white and add border shadow and outline will be blue. Go to view mute. Our first scorecard is ready. We will go to edit and we will copy this and we will create some more scorecards. Control C, Control V and Control V, Control V 
control V okay what we need to do is we need just to change here the metric so our long-term liabilities will be here now okay and here total liabilities okay our data is ready now we are going to discuss here the ratios debt to equity ratio which indicates how well creditors are protected in case of the company solvency so what is the formula we have here we have formula total debt divided by total equity so we need to add a field here as you can see here we don't have these fields here so we need to add a formula we need to click here add a field and add a field here so we already have all the fields here so what we need to do is we need to click on total liabilities divided by equity okay so our formula is okay we will save we need to make here a, a field that to equity ratio save okay done as you can see here we have here debt to equity ratio so we will click on scorecard we will change here debt to equity ratio our debt to equity ratio is quite good okay what the next thing we need to do is we need to create another field to check uh, the debt portion in company's capital structure which is which the ratio name is capitalization ratio so how we can do that we need to go to add a field again and we need to add a formula the formula will be here long term liabilities divided by long term liabilities plus equity so this will be our capitalization ratio so we will save here and we will click on done and we will click here where is capitalization ratio here we will change the metric here capitalization ratio even though our capitalization ratio is also good we will arrange them arrange vertically and bottom okay now what we need to do here we need to create a time series chart to show the comparison of our each variable like here we have current liabilities what we need to do here we if you go to view mode this is our daily basis data as you can see april 15 16 17 18 we need to uh, make it as a monthly so we will click on it here the date dimension will be copy of date the copy of date is the monthly format year to month format so what we need to do here we need to add current liabilities and a comparison with this previous year go to apply okay what we need to do here we need to style it and we will use bars instead of line chart it depicts the exact comparison and it it looks good so we will change the color we will we can make it like red and dark red and uh, the other settings we can make white background add border shadow cool legends will be black or whichever you like you can change the font color if we see the view mode our first time series chart is ready if we will go to edit mode we can even give them a title here as our current liabilities and we will make another two time series chart control c control v and we will make here the long term liabilities mm, metric no need for the current liabilities now 
we will go to style and we will change the color of our bars to suppose make it this color or yellow and the other things are the same because we have copied this data so we will copy this and paste here we will make here the metric for our data total liabilities and the total liabilities with time series chart and the style will be we can change the color to this okay go to view mode and check our charts with the comparison of previous years are ready let's go to edit mode and insert a bar chart okay we will make here our dimension by branch and by monthly by branch and drill down will be monthly data and here we will use the matrix current and long term liabilities and optional metric will be our total liabilities ok so other things are ok we will go to style if we want to change the color we can change the color and the the background color will be white and add border shadow cool so if we go to view mode and we will see here our data if we click on this drill down button it will show us the monthly comparison of both long term, long term and current liabilities and if we go to optional matrix we have here all total liabilities also by monthly and by branch wise actually we are going to see by branch wise so we will keep our data like that so we will unchoose the total liabilities if we need we can add here the total liabilities and unchoose the other liabilities so we will go to edit mode now we are going to insert a table there are different ways to compare the data as you can see here very nice ways you can compare your data what we need to do here we need our dimension will be branch we are going to see the data by branch wise okay long term liability is already here so we will bring here current liabilities and total liabilities and show summary row and ascending and comparison with previous year apply you can choose also custom date comparison it is up to you go to style we will style this table header will be black color so we can keep it as a black color and this color will be blue make it white and wrap text row even color will be dark light gray table labels black and 16 or 14 okay unchoose show pagination compact numbers for column one and use the bars the same we will use for the other columns bars show numbers show numbers compact numbers for the third we will use bar show numbers compact numbers background white add border shadow okay now we need to s do the setting of this table as you can see our table is ready with the comparison of previous data this is very uh, nice tool if you are comparing the data because the comparison of data with this table is more easier and more understandable we will go to view mode and our table is ready we will go to edit mode and we will add here a 
area chart as much as charts you want to add you can add here as you can see here our dimension is the monthly and the breakdown dimension automatically chosen by the system branch we are going to check the total liabilities and as whichever variable you want to see the area of covered the area you can add here even you can choose the style show points you can see the points and other things add border shadow and if we go to view mode you can see here the points showing the data go to edit mode now we are going to see pivot table as you can see here the row dimension is already selected by branch we need to see the data by branch wise and the column dimension will be monthly we will change here as you can see here it is also changed from here so we are going to check current liabilities or even we can add as much as variables but we will choose here the total liabilities we will show the grand total and show the grand total of the columns here ascending ascending and go to style and we will choose choose the table header color will be white and this color will be dark blue table labels we need to change the size if we would like to make it 14 we will use the compact numbers white and add border shadow so now we will arrange this only because our data is already ready cool our pivot table is also ready if we go to view mode as you can see here our pivot table is ready we will go to edit mode and we will add here our last chart which is pie chart we will click this is very useful chart to show a lot of things in one place as you can see here we have branch here dimension we can add drill down and we can add here copy of date and make it as yearly data we will see yearly and we can add here monthly data and here we can choose the matrix optional matrix also we can add here current liabilities and long term liabilities okay total liabilities already there so if we go to style and we don't need here white we will make it transparent and if we go to view mode if you click on it you will see the data by month by yearly by monthly and by branch wise also you can drill down any of the variable here long term liabilities current liabilities total liabilities this tool is very useful and I like it very much go to edit mode if you click on it go to style and make it a donut pie chart and use a single color it is looking nice so this is what we have for today as you can see here our liabilities analysis chart is ready if we go to balance sheet if our management wanted to click on assets so we have assets analysis we will go back to balance sheet if our management wanted to see liabilities analysis they can go to liabilities analysis